energy so fundamental of a concept most of us learn about it at school we are told that all physical systems have two energy components kinetic and potential with kinetic part equal to half mv squared isn't this formula strange and why amongst all possible coefficients it has a half in it the history of this formula begins with Leibniz and his concept of vis viva or living force who has observed that in most mechanical systems this quantity was conserved. The most familiar example is that of elastic collisions. In a classical setup you have two balls approaching each other with speeds v1 and v2 with this total kinetic energy. After the collision they change their speeds to u1 and u2 and their total kinetic energy is now this. Most experiments show that the two quantities are actually equal. This conservation is used broadly to solve problems of this kind. But, as you can see, this quantity from Leibniz does not have a half. It was only in time of industrial revolution, almost three centuries later, that the concept of work gained a huge importance in physics due to an extensive use of steam engines. Coriolis was the first one who saw the importance of what we now call kinetic energy. And here is a way to see it. Consider a particle traveling in a three-dimensional space with origin O. We consider its displacement from time t0 to t0 plus delta t that we denote as dr. Suppose that this particle travels in a force field depicted by these green lines. To calculate the work done by this force on our particle between any two points in time t1 and t2, we simply dot product f with dr and integrate it from one point to another. We can rewrite dr to introduce dt and then use Newton's second law to write our force as mr double dot and as you can see integrating this quantity gives us half m r dot squared which is exactly the expression for kinetic energy but more importantly we see that work done is equal to the change in kinetic energy and this is how kinetic energy or half m v squared became important in modern physics this is a very narrow introduction to the physics of energy which i will expand in my next videos newton's laws are expressed through things like speed acceleration and force it was mainly Lagrange, born 10 years after Newton, who has realized that laws of nature can be explained through energy. The main idea in his theory is called the principle of least action. In fact, you can derive Newton's second law 
from this principle, and vice versa. Lagrange's results were later found useful for understanding quantum theory, whilst the link between Newtonian mechanics and quantum theory remains unknown 